So next, let's look at the non-pharmacological management. And if we focus first on allergen avoidance, and we'll look at grass pollen, um, because we're thinking about hay fever season during the summer. So a couple of pointers for patients. The first is monitor the pollen count, so at least you know on what day the pollen count is high. Ideally on those days, don't be out on lush grassland or grassy areas. Close the windows at peak times, which will be early morning and late afternoon. Vaseline can be applied into the nasal cavity to try and catch some of that pollen before it's breathed in. Wrap around sunglasses have been shown to be quite effective at keeping pollen out of the eyes and they do make those for children now. Ideally, don't mow the lawn yourself. Shower and change your clothes after being out and about um, and having pollen exposure. And try not to have clothes or sheets on the um, clothesline outside so that you're not bringing pollen indoors. As regards smoking cessation, obviously this is a topic as healthcare professionals we discuss frequently, but it is important to note that smoking um, exacerbates both allergic rhinitis and asthma, and this does include passive smoking, which would be parents maybe smoking around children, and it also is likely inclusive of e-cigarettes and vaping. Saline uh, washes or nasal irrigation um, has been shown to be very effective. So you have saline rinses and you have saline sprays. Um, they directly cleanse the nasal cavity. They remove mucus, they remove inflammatory mediators such as histamine. And they also have been shown to reduce the bacterial burden or biofilm within the nasal cavity. Um, interestingly, they have been shown to improve mucociliary function. And this is where um, the ciliary um, the cilia, I mean, or like little hair-like structures within the nasal cavity, um, which allow the removal of secretions from the nose, stop functioning as well during allergic rhinitis. But increased ciliary beat frequency has been noted with the use of saline rinse. Eye symptoms can be managed conservatively with cold compresses, lubricating eye drops and cool eye gel masks. And for those patients who have asthma in particular, air purifiers are effective at reducing allergens and pollution. Humidifiers can assist in the ease of breathing for these asthmatics, but just be wary of those who have a mold allergy. Um, and oxygen saturation monitors can be used as a guideline for when um, to seek medical attention. And um, we would generally say to patients that if your oxygen saturations are 92% or less, to make sure to attend the hospital.